Mm -hmm. Hi guys, it is a lovely night here in the collapse of everything. In Doomsday Trailer, it is a Sunday night. Sunday night, March 10th, 2024. So the little dog and I have been uh, enjoying it while we still can. And uh, the some music festival out with our out in the woods and uh i did another commercial but just in case you want to get this t-shirt or dozens more like it this is by doomer chick artist lisa betornay b-e-t-o-u-r-n-a-y you can find her on facebook or instagram or her website is pyrogenic p y r o g e n i k dot com for all of the uh, the doomer art that you need in your life. I highly recommend Lisa's work. But now, speaking of pyrotechnics, uh, you know, so I haven't been on the mainstream media. <clears throat> Good Lord, since Friday. It is now Sunday night. And so I was actually going on here thinking I was going to maybe find some good news for my good news Monday morning roundup tomorrow. But uh, I flipped on the mainstream media. I don't know uh, exactly if this is good news or not. Second biggest story on the planet from the good old New York Times. You know, just some plain old straight ahead to the point, uh, no hopium that I can see, uh, the straight ahead doomer porn on Sunday in the New York Times, number two story on Yahoo News. So, uh, before I continue digging around for some good news on the planet, let's just look at the, uh, the just another story on the planet. You know, since I've stopped doing my Manga Bay Roundup, uh, we haven't been talking much about the Amazon rainforest. So let's check in with what is going on in the Amazon rainforest which uh, sounds like it has become the Amazon fire forest. Take it away. New York Times. <clears throat> Rains are scarce in the Amazon. Instead, mega fires are raging. By this time of the year, rain should be drenching large swaths of the Amazon rainforest. Instead, a punishing drought has kept the rains at bay, creating dry conditions for fires that have engulfed hundreds of square miles of the rainforest that do not usually burn. So, uh, you know, we're talking about the once moist, wet rainforest that was somewhat impervious to uh, mega fires until now. <clears throat> the fires have turned the end of the dry season, well we hope it's the end of the dry season, in the northern part of the giant rainforest into a crisis. Firefighters have struggled to contain enormous blazes that have sent choking smoke into cities across South America. A record number of fires so far this year in the Amazon has also raised questions about what may be in store, what may be in store for the world's biggest tropical rainforest when the dry season starts again in June in the far larger southern part of the jungle. Last month, which would be February, Venezuela, northern Brazil, Guyana, and Suriname, which encompass vast stretches 
of the northern Amazon recorded the highest number of fires for any February ever, according to Brazil's National Institute of Space Research, which has been tracking fires for 25 years. <clears throat> fires also burned across Colombia's Andes highlands as well as parts of that country's Amazon territory. The fires in the Amazon, which reaches across nine South American nations, are the result of an extreme drought fueled by climate change and usually started on purpose by humans, <clears throat> experts said. The region has been feeling the effects of a natural weather phenomenon known as El Nino, which can worsen dry conditions that were intensified this year by extremely high temperatures. <clears throat> that has made the rainforest more vulnerable to fast spreading blazes, said Ann Allen Carr, the science director at the Amazon Environmental Research Institute of Brazil. Quote, the climate is leaving forest in South America more flammable. It's creating opportunities for wildfires. So if you're a wildfire looking for some good news opportunities, I would say head to the Amazon rainforest. <clears throat> As countries continue to burn fossil fuels, and the planet reaches the highest average temperature measured by scientists, a grueling year of fires is expected around the world in 2024. Severe blazes have already ravaged large parts of the U.S. and Australia, and a worse season, a worse season then last year is forecast for Canada, where more acres burned last year than had ever been recorded. So, uh, so much for me moving to upstate New York to get away from wildfire smoke. You know, they're talking about these zombie fires. They've already found 43 zombie fires uh, in Canada ready to spring back into action here. It is going to be a nasty summer in, in Canada, but we're talking about the Amazon. We'll have plenty of rants about Canada burning soon enough. <clears throat> Another year of devastating fires could be especially damaging in the Amazon, which stores vast quantities of carbon dioxide in its trees and soil. It is also home to 10% of the planet's plants, animals, and other living organisms. If deforestation, fires, and climate change continue to worsen, large stretches of the forest could transform into grasslands or weakened ecosystems in the coming decades. That, scientists say, would trigger a collapse that could send up to 20 years worth of global carbon emissions into the atmosphere, an enormous blow to the struggle to contain climate change. <clears throat> Once this tipping point is crossed, quote, it may be useless to try to do something. Do you think so? Once this tipping point is crossed, quote, it may be useless to try to do something, said Bernardo Flores, who studies the resilience of ecosystems at the Federal University in Brazil. In January, <clears throat> wildfires burned almost 4,000 square miles of the Brazilian Amazon, 
an almost four-fold increase from January 2023, according to MAP Biomass, a collective of climate-focused nonprofit organizations and research institutions. In February, more than two-thirds of the fires in Brazil have occurred in Roraima, the country's northernmost state. They have burned homes and subsistence crops in several indigenous villages, leaving a thick haze over rural areas and creating hazardous air quality in the state's capital, Boa Vista. As a result, of the prolonged drought, the vegetation in this part of the Amazon has become combustible, Alan Carr explained, quote, Roraima is like a barrel of gunpowder right now, close quote. Researchers say that most of the fires sweeping through the region were set by farmers using the slash and burn method to allow new grass to grow on degraded pastures or to fully clear recently deforested land. Fueled by the dry conditions and searing temperatures, Many of those fires are burning out of control, spreading miles beyond the area that was originally set ablaze by clueless moron humans. <clears throat> Said Flores, fires are contagious. They modify the ecosystem they pass through and increase the risk for neighboring areas like a virus. In Roraima, the blazes have mostly burned areas within the Lavrado, a unique savanna-like region nestled within the Amazon, said Erica Berenger, a senior research associate at the University of Oxford. This ecosystem, known for its wide open grasslands and a rare population of wild horses, overlaps with several protected areas, including the Yano Mami Indigenous Reserve, where illegal mining and forest destruction have already led to a humanitarian crisis. After months of scarce rain, dense rainforest that is typically too humid to catch fire has also become more susceptible to flames. In Roraima, the fires have now spread to protected forest and indigenous lands in the southern region of the state. Uh, while fires are common in drier boreal forest in Canada and other parts of the northern hemisphere, they do not naturally occur in the much wetter Amazon rainforest. Tropical forests are not adapted to fires, this fire researcher Zhaud said, quote, and degrade much faster, especially if the fire becomes recurrent, close quote. Some of the wildfires started by humans in the Amazon have now grown into megafires typically defined as blazes that burn more than 100,000 acres of land or that have an unusually significant effect on people and the environment. These kinds of fires, Flores said, will become more frequent as the planet warms and deforestation 
damages the Amazon's ability to recover environmental factors are already changing the Amazon, dry seasons are becoming longer, and average rainfall during those periods when rains diminish but do not stop altogether has already dropped by one-third since the 1970s, Behringer said. That has made El Nino's increasingly dangerous. Quote, when you have all of these factors together, you have the conditions for a perfect storm, the perfect firestorm, that is, close quote. The fires in the Amazon region have also had a striking effect on carbon emissions. In February alone, wildfires in Brazil and Venezuela emitted almost 10 million tons of carbon, the most ever recorded for the month, and about as much as Switzerland emits in a year. The El Nino pattern should wind down in a few months, bringing some respite to the Amazon, but more devastating fires could erupt if the parched soil does not receive enough rainfall in the crucial wetter months ahead, Alan Carr said, quote, the question is whether the forest can recover before the dry season, whether the Amazon can recharge its batteries. Now it all, it all depends on the rain. Yes, it does. And, uh... Oh, we actually have some intelligent people. Uh, I don't believe it. Uh, unbelievable. We're actually seeing intelligent comments. Uh, huh. I, I don't believe it. I, I'm, 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 I'm stunned. Yeah, here the destruction of the forest is caused by the ranchers and farmers that are clearing land for pastures and farmland. That's exactly what it is. Uh, there you go. Uh, I, I do not believe it somehow the uh, the Trump tards have not gotten hold of the uh, comments section. Uh, here we go. Pirate asking, where are all of the people claiming that this is part of the Earth's natural climate cycle? There you go. Uh, for some reason, the uh, the climate change deniers are leaving this one alone. I'm a little a little unclear where all of the uh, clueless moron trolls are. Makes me a little suspicious. Is Yahoo News cracking down on clueless morons? It can't be happening. Anyway, now that I've gotten a reality check for the news, I'm going to get back and start digging around for some good news for Monday morning. I see the third biggest story on the planet is that they're making good, good headway in cloning woolly mammoths. So we will come back tomorrow morning and talk about uh, 
where exactly are we going to start rewilding woolly mammoths as the planet melts and burns? My guys.